hey you guys so if you watched my last video then you know i did this twist out so if you want to see how i preserved this twist out so it can look like this the next day and just how i kept it up all week because it did last i believe five to seven days uh just keep on watching because the definition was still on point so if you watched my last preservation video, then you know I do sleep with my hair up in a high bun in a pineapple style uh, in a bonnet at night, every night. So that's what I did. And to start off, the first thing I did was took it out the um, ponytail holder, obviously. And then next you're going to see me pull my hair and form it since it's is a twist out and not just you know like my natural curl pattern my first instinct wasn't to put you know water all over it but you know you got to do what you got to do so uh i did put water in a really frizzy places like the front uh some places in the middle and uh with me my hair uh water helps add frizz and uh good frizz and good frizz equals more volume so yeah well, then after that uh spritzing it with water i do what i was doing at first i continue to pull curls and place them where i would like them to be so just like in my twist out tutorial i'm going to take that garnier fruity sleek and shine anti-frizz serum and put that all over my hair uh mainly focusing on my ends because uh i do need to get my ends trimmed and uh you know that kind of helps smooth everything out so i'm going to place it everywhere that i see necessary and i'm really going to focus uh on the curls in the front because that serum really does help uh smooth out and tame frizz so i really focus that on the front on my ends you know in the very important places Okay, so after that very tedious process, I'm now going to take some oil and use that to um, further get rid of frizz, add shine, um, and also to just seal in more moisture. I know um, because I did uh, spritz water in the beginning and water is moisture. And then that serum is very moisturizing as well. So I wanted to add some oil just to um you know seal all that in and whatever oil i have left on my hands i always make sure to put that on the nape of my neck girl and now i'm going to lay my edges the same exact way i did in my twist out tutorial but i'm going to just zoom in this time so y'all can see what i'm doing more clearly because i didn't really go into detail then and i'm not really now but i do want y'all to see like i said i love the baby hair look and then how it goes into that sleek piece i just love the way that looks so yeah And like I always say, y'all do know I like to go in with some more gel just to set those baby hairs in place. So this is what I'm looking like right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn around and give y'all a whole 360. Uh, but y'all do know me. Y'all know I like to go back and finish getting dressed and then come back and show y'all the final, final results. So I'm going to just see y'all in a second. Okay, y'all, so this is second day here. Like, I'm, I'm dressed, you know, I'm ready to go. A little necklace, some earrings, some little gloss, you know how. You know the, you know the routine. And you can see I'm thumbish today, but besides the point, this is about second day here. So, as y'all saw in a previous clip, I, um, what did I do? I spritz my hair with water, put some oil and some serum and stuff on it, and did my edges. But, that's all I did. And this is what it's looking like day two um twist out it's a little frizzy like right in here but honestly i'm okay with that it still looks good to me but yeah this is day two hair and i'm really loving it like I have zero complaints 
I like how the back is a little frizzy, but it still got a little definition. Like it's the back is somehow a mix between my twist out and my natural curl pattern. But yeah, I'm just I'm here for it. So yeah. <laughs> So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm definitely going to see you in my next video, okay? Um, and yeah, <laughs> goodbye y'all, bye.